Turkey's controversial animal welfare director is stepping down. This comes right after we learn that Barbara Bruin may have violated the rules again. News 13's Haley Rush talked to the city today. Barbara Bruin has a track record for taking dogs off the suggested kill list. Just days ago, we told you the animal welfare director broke the rules again by taking a nine-month-old pit bull named Jules off that list. The day after she made the call, Jules bit a worker. Today, Bruin stepped down. Yeah, yeah, it was a mutual decision. But was she reassigned because a city investigation found she allowed dangerous dogs to be adopted by the public? I can tell you that, you know, those are obviously considerations, but you can't look at just the criticism of controversies. You have to look at the successes. And when we asked if Bruin would have been fired if she hadn't stepped down, the city said, I can't really predict and speculate on the future. City officials did say Bruin made many improvements to the department during her six year tenure, and they didn't want to continue to put her in a situation to make life or death decisions for animals. It's a situation where Barbara obviously put but, you know, those animals before herself. Her new role will have her focus on programs that will help end Albuquerque's pet overpopulation. We're trying to take the department and the adoption program to the next level, and that's what Barbara's recommendation was. But whether breaking the rules for Jules and other dogs was the reason for her recommendation. I think it's a difficult question to answer yes or no. Haley Rush, KRQE News 13. Now you heard the city bragging about Bruin lowering the euthanasia rate, but critics say she did that in part by allowing dangerous dogs to be adopted by the public.